How's it going out there today, guys? So, you've decided to carry a firearm. You've got your concealed carry license, and you're ready to start carrying. But, you are not comfortable yet with carrying with one in the chamber. You know you should carry with one in the chamber, but you're just not there yet. You're just not ready to do it. And hey man, that's okay. There's plenty of people out there like that. I was like that when I first started to conceal carry. My wife was also like that when she started to conceal carry. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Now basically, uh, the focus of this video is going to be for what most people carried, which is a striker fired gun. Okay? If you're carrying a 1911, you have the option to carry cocked and locked with a safety. So... You really shouldn't be too concerned uh, with carrying with one in the chamber, you know, if, if your gun has multiple safeties. Now, striker fire guns do have internal safeties and stuff like that, but, you know, lots of people just don't feel comfortable without that manual safety to flip on and off. But of course, the problem with that is then you have to train with that. Um, it's one more thing to go wrong. You know, if you have to draw your weapon, it is going to be a very stressful event and you may not remember to flip that safety off. Um, you know, it's going to be everything you can do to get your gun out and pull that trigger to defend yourself if you would have to do that. So I just want to share with you guys a little thing that uh, I did and to get myself comfortable with carrying with one in a chamber. And obviously, okay, you've got your concealed carry license, you're ready to start carrying, you've got yourself a good belt, a good carry belt, and you've got yourself a good holster. You know, meaning that you have a holster that completely covers up your trigger guard so that, uh, you know, there's no chance of that trigger being depressed. So anyway, guys, uh, what I did was very simple, something very simple. And all I did was cock my gun, not put one in the chamber, and then load my magazine as normal. Put your gun in the holster, put it wherever you like to carry, what, you know, your side, appendix, whatever, and then just simply go about your day. Uh, carry like that doing all the things you would normally do, you know, going out and doing your yard work. Uh, if you can carry it at your job, you know, carrying there, you know, around the house, doing all of the normal things you would normally do in the course of a day uh, so that you can see whether or not that trigger ever gets depressed. And as long as you're carrying it in a good holster, that's never going to happen, guys. And uh, But it's just a little confidence-building technique uh, that I wanted to share so that you guys could see, you know, that that holster, or that, that trigger is never going to get depressed. And once you've carried like that for a while, and, you know, if take your gun out at the end of the day, um, obviously make sure it's clear, make sure there's not one in the chamber, and check and see if that trigger ever got depressed. And, uh, you'll see that there's really nothing to be worried about. So carry like that as long as you have to, to feel comfortable. But uh, as soon as you are confident, go ahead and put that round in the chamber and carry with it, guys. Because as somebody who's been in several situations, uh, I didn't carry at the time. But, you know, situations for self-defense, um, things happen too quick, guys. You're not going to have time to draw your weapon, rack that slide... And then engage your target if you have to. Um, 
And there's plenty of videos out there. If you go watch the active self-defense channel, stuff like that, there's uh, times that that has cost people their lives. And under stress, you may not even pull your slide back all the way. You may cause a malfunction because you're nervous and you're trying to load that gun. It's just one more thing to go wrong. And if you're watching this video, you probably already know that. But like I said, it's just a nice, simple uh, way to build confidence in yourself and your equipment if you're new to concealed carry. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm thinking about doing some more of these concealed carry type videos. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. Uh, I've got lots of, lots of ideas and uh, things to say on the subject, but... And if you guys are interested in that, then uh, let me know. We'll check you out later, and y'all have a great day.